subcommittee of the of the Committee of Foreign Affairs in the United States House of Representatives held a hearing on the quote-unquote future of democracy in Pakistan and the U.S.-Pakistan relations, where Donald Liu, the Assistant Secretary of the State for South and Central Asian Affairs, said President Biden's administration identified a series of irregularities in the conduct of the February 4th elections. Uh, let's, in fact, take a look at a short excerpt from the hearing. Sir, we, we uh, share the view of local election observers who have in summary said um, this was a competitive and orderly, orderly election, but they note irregularities in the compilation of the results that should be fully investigated. Do you believe that the recent election was free and fair? Um, sir, we have never used the term free and fair in the characterization of this election. To to what level, then, would you say interference happened? We, sir, we have expressed, and I've said this multiple times today, serious concerns about the pre-election environment, violence that occurred, terrorism and political violence. We have expressed concern about the failure to uh, register individual candidates and political parties, the mass arrests of those in opposition, the shutdown of Internet, and the uh, censorship and pressure placed on. Well, of course, for you as there, you heard it. Meanwhile, still with us on the broadcast is uh, Ambassador Suresh Goyal. Sir, uh, the world is very much aware of uh, the elections that took place in Pakistan, the way they were held. Uh, ballot boxes were burnt. There was, uh, there was dandabazi that was going on. But then, meanwhile, we have to also keep in mind that U.S. is historically supported Pakistan, knowing very well what their culture is like. So, I mean, where are all these statements then coming from? I think, uh, sorry, you have said what I wanted to say, really. Uh, these statements are coming from Congress. They will continue to express reservations on uh, these kind of full uh, violations, the violence uh, in terms of the practices, etc., etc., and they... They, they, they even uh, they have even held the polls in Bangladesh as not well, not really uh, free and fair on various grounds. Therefore, I would say that yes, this is a political process in the USA. The Senate will continue to have the hearing. They will continue to make these statements, but depending upon their own uh, uh, processes and uh, uh, what the priorities are in the U.S. government. But would they actually tell Pakistan government Shabash Sharif now that we will not deal with you? I don't think so. Uh, Pakistan is far too important for the USA to say anything of that sort of thing because of poll violations. The government is not really a legitimate government. They can't do that. Therefore, uh, we will note what the Senate has uh, uh, said and uh, raise objections to and then uh, proceed merrily along uh, what is happening in Pakistan, the functioning of the government, and things will really go along merrily the same way as before. I don't think anything is going to change. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.